it's a gray day here in the Napa Valley, uh, but I felt like heading up to Calistoga and take a walk, have some fresh air, and just show you what that cute little town looks like. And I decided to stop at the Welcome to Napa Valley sign. There are two of them here in the valley. One of them is in Oakville, and the other one is here um, on route to Calistoga. And then there's some vineyards behind me, and I haven't taken you guys into any vineyard yet, so I just wanted to show you what that looks like and maybe explain a few fun facts. So in the Napa Valley, Cabernet Sauvignon is king, and for the most part, when you're just kind of driving around, you'll see a ton of cab vines. And the metal and wood post here, this is the trellis. This is the supporting mechanism of grapevines. And these wires, the trellis wires, help support the canopy as it grows across the season. These wires here are movable and they're called catch wires. And it arranges the canopy in a certain way known as VSP or vertical shoot positioning and it allows the fruit to be exposed to an adequate amount of sunlight. And this vineyard's already been pruned so they left the pruning clippings on the ground here and um, they've left this one-year-old wood here and from here you're going to get the shoots that will support the grape clusters. This one-year-old wood that the pruning crew left behind is known as a spur. And they've left two buds, so two growing points that the new shoot material will come from. This is considered spur pruning. It's when you leave a tiny piece of one-year-old wood that will be the origin of your new shoots in the growing season. In addition, you can see some excellent spacing between the, the spurs. So you do want room for uh, everything to grow properly. And the pruning crew here has expertly given um, all of this growing material some space. Another thing to think about is you have a volume of fruit that each vine will produce and you also have a volume of vegetation that each vine will produce. And the uh, pruning that is being conducted right now will, will negotiate the amount of vegetation to fruit. And that must always be in balance so that you can have enough vegetative amount to adequately ripen the amount of fruit you have. And that's considered vine balance. And then the arrangement of the vine the training system here is a bilateral cordon. So the wire here is known as the cordon and they have the main trunk here and then two pieces that are branching off and these are the cordons. You can have a unilateral cordon where you have one piece branching off from the trunk or in this case we have a bilateral cordon. I want to point out also that there there's only one trunk here. Sometimes vineyards will double trunk their vines so instead of one piece of wood you'll see two and um, the reason you would do that is if you live in a colder climate sometimes one of the trunks will actually die due to freeze damage and then you have an extra trunk left over. So that's, that's a, another strategy. And as far as positioning the catch wires, um, you can allow your canopy to sprawl, so kind of stretching out into the alleyway here, or you can arrange it vertically, and then the fruit zone, which lies within the cordon here, gets excellent sun exposure. Um, hopefully, the longer I have this channel, I can show you guys some different arrangements because there are so many different styles based on the wine growing region, based on the wine growing and wine making goals. And my intention for this channel is to make it something educational. So I hope this is helpful and interesting. I would love to hear your feedback on this type of content in the comment section below.